Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year if you are watching this on January 1st. Thank you for an amazing year. We have come so far and this is just a look at our year together. So once again, thank you so much for an amazing year and cheers to an even better 2022. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, friends, so before we start, I just wanted to mention really quick that I am working with a new mic in this video, and I did not realize how horrible the audio was until after I recorded the entire hour-long video, so please excuse the video, but I did try my best to fix it. Hey friends, so we are going to start off with the first video of 2021. Can you guys believe it has been an entire year since I have been in this shed? It has flown by and the creativity that has come out of this shed is just totally amazing. So anyway, this is where we start and I'm so glad because this is where my channel really took off. So. I bought this shed back in November. It is a 10 by 16 Dutchman. We live in a small house and I shared my craft room with my stepson for the entire time that I've been crafting in this house. So it was definitely time for me to have my own space. We bought the shed completely empty. My husband redid the entire thing for me. He put up insulation and electric you know all the fun things so that this way this place could be perfect for me and my girls i have two girls one is five the, um my other daughter is one so they definitely needed a little space i'm also going to be doing an updated shed video so let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see i'm going to show you guys what works what doesn't um, but it, it will be a little bit because my shed is going to be getting moved here soon. But if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments. Moving on to the next video of 2021 was my bow video. I know that so many people struggle with bows. So this was definitely a video that I wanted to make because I know that bows intimidate a lot of people. But with just a little bit of patience and trial and error you guys can make the most beautiful bows and it doesn't have to take long or be super hard at all so again this was another video i wanted to make just for you guys and let me know in the comments which bow was your favorite Moving on to the next project, this was a winter project and I just took one of these little houses from Dollar Tree, I took the back off and cleaned it up and then I painted that back white. I also took a little chalkboard that Arteza sent me and I took my snowflake transfers and I just randomly transferred all those snowflakes on this chalkboard. I wanted this chalkboard to be kind of like a little accent piece, so the snowflakes was all I did for this one. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself, or I can be someone else. No one stopping me. I 
added a handle from an old stir stick to the chalkboard and then for the white sign I just transferred on baby it's cold outside. I also made this cute little standing deer which was one of your favorites as well as this little I don't even know what that pattern is called somebody can let me know in the comments but I just wanted that also to be a little accent piece for this little setup. Again let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these winter DIYs. Oh my goodness you guys this is another one of my favorites it is so fun looking back on the year and just seeing all the different things and then remembering DIYing all of these and again this was definitely one of my favorites I don't even know where that idea came from but I love the way that it turned out here is another one these paper hearts everybody absolutely loved them so much as well as I did so I made a super cute garland by taking three wooden hearts from Dollar Tree painting them black and then as you saw I made paper hearts out of the paper I then painted two of the hearts pink I'm sorry I said white so I painted two of the hearts pink one of the hearts white and then I transferred on you and me and then I just put together a cute little garland with the rest of these DIYs I will also leave the link to all of these videos in the description box below Here we go with the project that I felt like launched my YouTube channel before this um, DIY. My channel was growing at a steady pace, but this video really helped my channel to um, get into the algorithm and help YouTube to notice me. And I love this project for that. Not only for that, but this was certainly a love child project. So much so that so many of you recreated it recreated it and I just want you to know that I absolutely love seeing all your recreations so please keep sending them to me because they literally make my entire day moving on to the next video now this was the video that I made these little crate boxes and I did I collaborated with Bargain Bethany because she is so sweet. Again, if you have not checked her out, what are you doing with your life? She's amazing. She makes the most amazing projects. And you guys, let's her help her get to a million subscribers because I cannot think of anybody more deserving. I loved making this video. I love these little canisters so much. So let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite from this video. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Why yes, the infamous little birdhouse shelf. My, how many of those did I had to take apart? But in the end, it was so worth it because look at this shelf, you guys. I'm just totally blown away. Sometimes I can't even believe that I made this project, but just with a little bit of patience, like I say, and you guys, I messed up a little bit on this, and you know what? That's okay. I just fixed it. I went on, and I kept going, and that's what matters. So I love that little shelf, and of course, you guys know how I roll. I had to make all the little decor to fit inside of it.
Oh my goodness, you guys, here is another favorite. Now this one, I wish that I had more of these galvanized pieces at the time so that I can make my barn doors a little bit longer, but you know what? I made it work with what I had. They still turned out so super cute, and when I get bigger galvanized pieces, then I can make bigger barn doors because I'm buying a house, so I'm definitely gonna be DIYing all types of decor for my home, and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. So this sign was another fan favorite and I absolutely love it as well. I did not have a spot for it in this house so I'm so excited to put it up for spring in my new home. Okay, so you guys know I love my dupes. I do not like to overpay for decor because I know that I can make it for much cheaper. So this is where I took you along into my craft room and showed you guys how to make these items for much cheaper. And just look how amazing mine turned out. I actually personally like mine a lot better than the one in the store. So guess what? Win-win. Again, look how amazingly gorgeous these are, but for $25, I knew that I could make it much cheaper. So I just went to Dollar Tree, I picked up some foam board, I laid out my design and cut it out with my hot knife, and then I went to my craft table, and just look at this, you guys. $2 to make this. You cannot even tell that it's not real wood, and it's much bigger than the original one. These little half pots were also some of my favorites. I love that Dollar Tree comes out with different items like this. Before this video, I had never seen them. So when I found them, I was so excited and I knew exactly what I would do with them. Later on in the year, I also make three um, little potted, I don't even know what you wanna call it, but um, they are faux herbs and those also came out amazing using those half pots. Okay friends, moving on to this farmhouse sign. This was another gorgeous sign. I love the galvanized piece in the back and then the white sign in the front with the frame. It just looks so farmhouse. I love this sign so much. You guys always love the galvanized pieces and I love to make them for you. So moving on to these barn doors. These were another one of your guys' favorite. You guys love the shape of them and so did I. They're different and they look so high end. When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Okay friends, moving on. Do you guys remember these lanterns? I almost forgot about them until I was editing this video. So anyway, these lanterns were so fun to put together. I saw them on a website and they were ridiculously expensive and again, I knew that I could make it for much cheaper. Just look at that galvanized at the top and bottom. Can you even tell that that's faux galvanized or does it look totally real? about everything that was on our mind. 
The next video I did was a fun tear tray DIY. So I just took little mini uh, items that I could find, or I should say the smallest items that I could find, and I just kind of spruced them up, made them mine to make them all fit on my little tear tray. Now these were also one of my favorites. They are just foam board. I had these cute little cutting boards and I knew that I wanted to just use them as templates. So I laid them out on foam board, cut them out and then made them look like wood. I also just took my chalk couture transfers, transferred on some random little farmhouse images and look how amazing these turned out. I also used the famous uh, Dollar Tree calendars and just so many different things that you can use to make an idea come together. This was the first time that I had used the Cricut Joy and let me tell you guys, it is definitely worth the money. This is considered their budget machine or their smaller machine. So this kind of complements the bigger machines, but if you don't make super big projects or you don't run a business, you're just DIYing, this machine is perfect. So I just made one of my cousins just had a baby so I wanted to make her a cute little sign and I don't I did not like the way that the last one looked so I did just change it up and I absolutely love the way that this one turned out Next was just a fun little YouTube short where I showed you how amazing Chalk Couture ink is. You can use the ink for shirts, cups, anything that you want to make permanent. Our ink is amazing for that. Literally all you do is pick the transfer that you like, lay it down on your surface. You then go, you're then going to take your ink or your paste, whatever it is, squeegee that on your transfer and then reveal that beautiful crisp image underneath wash your transfers and then you can use them over and over and over again so these transfers literally uh, buy themselves because you can make one sign with the transfer and sell it for what you bought your transfer for and then you got your transfer for free so anyway I had so much fun doing this truck actually Sophia my daughter is five and she DIYs with me all the time and we had so much fun making that video. Moving on to this little tray that I put on my kitchen table. You guys, I love this thing so much. I ended up using all these little items from Dollar Tree. I even braided up some raffia and wrapped it around a jar. And I had just bought a new kitchen table at the time and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This was another one of my favorites. Now I have made tobacco baskets before, but I knew for this one that I wanted to add my touch. So I added jars with some greenery and it just looked gorgeous and my little one Sophia helped me with this video and we had so much fun On to the next video was a Cricut video, and I just took a bunch of Dollar Tree signs. I put them together on top of one another, and then I painted them with some cute stripes at the top and the bottom. Now this was in the summer, so I wanted this sign to be nice and airy and colorful with a little pop of color, I should say. And this is what I came up with. And this one was yet another fan favorite and I cannot wait to put it up in my new home for this summer. So this was a fun dupes. Now I cannot believe this was $200, you guys. Again, I knew that I could recreate it for much less using Dollar Tree items. So I just start off with three of these longer signs. If you guys have been around for any amount of time and you know that these are my absolute favorite signs to work with so I just put them together I created lines I used paint I also used pieces of poplar from Home Depot and look how amazing this turned out and 
mine was like 10 bucks. Again, this is another super easy dupe that I knew I could recreate for much cheaper. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is why this is so fun to put together at the end of the year because I completely forgot about this DIY. I ended up giving it away, so it's not something that I look at every day. And this one was also almost $250, and we made ours for a whopping $8. That is the beauty of DIY. Not only do you have so much fun, and you guys, this is truly my outlet. Without DIY, I honestly don't know what what I would do most days. So not only is it my outlet, but we save so much money. Moving on, this was a thrift flip. Again, I had so much fun making this video. Prior to this video, I had done thrift flips before, but they didn't really do too well on my channel, so I kind of steered clear from those until now, and I am so happy that I stepped out of my comfort zone and I gave all of these pieces a complete new look because I literally love every single one of these pieces. My husband Mark and I own a handyman business, and he's also a contractor and he redoes houses and stuff and one of our customers she bought her father's home and Mark redid the entire thing and I ended up giving her a bunch of these as a home warming gift. on this was the exact same video but I redid this birdhouse and I absolutely love the way that this turned out this one I could not part with and again I cannot wait to put this up in my new home I was just waiting for the right home and the right moment in my current home we did not have enough room for this piece so I cannot wait to display it Moving on to the next video, this was a dupes video. I went to Big Lots and saw a bunch of different pieces that I absolutely fell in love with, but again, they were way too expensive and I knew that I could recreate it for less. I had so much fun making this. This was another piece that was a little bit out of my comfort zone because it's not my normal style or decor, but when I made it, I absolutely loved it and it helps me to find different, de different decor that I normally wouldn't pick up. Moving on to this project, you guys. This was another one that I had so much fun making. Theirs was $30. Now, I didn't save too much, but I feel like 50% off is a really good deal. And again, it's my outlet. I had so much fun making it. So to me, 50% off plus some mental clarity. Yeah, I'll take it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better Do you guys remember this boho decor that I made? Again, this is not in my comfort zone. My style is traditional farmhouse or more like modern farmhouse. So boho 
I've seen it and my friends love boho, but I personally have never made it until this video. And I am so glad that I did because I just love the way that everything turned out. Now, I don't know if these little cutting boards were very boho, but I felt like adding the boho little farm animals with my chalk couture transfers really made that boho farmhouse -y look come through. So I don't know you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if I achieve the boho farmhouse look here. For Christmas in July, I almost did not do this, you guys. I was like, I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to do Christmas in July, blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up giving in and doing it. And again, I was so glad that I did because I absolutely loved the way that everything turned out. This Noel sign was absolutely gorgeous with this light up little wreath in the middle with the um, buffalo check letters that I used my chalk couture transfers on. That shimmer um, red is just absolutely gorgeous. And then I also made these little foam deer, I guess you can call it a foam deer stand. I don't know you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what to call this, but I believe that the Noel sign in this video was my absolute favorite. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. Promise nobody can steal me away. Then I Again, we have another Cricut video where I showed I you guys you. how to I use your Cricut you Joy to make business supplies. Now, I send out happy mail to my Club Look Couture members every smile. single quarter. They're going out in January, but I always right include you. little stickers and fun little things in, the, in my happy mail that I send out. So I knew that these would be super cute to include, as well as these cards with them baby i only want you it's true and then he said i wrote you a love song and i tried to make it beautiful it's a song about your sweet sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away yeah i am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing There's so many different things that you can do with your Cricut Joy, but my favorite things to do are to make business signs for my husband with it. You can actually make really long or really big signs with this because you can cut so long. All you really have to do is, depending on the size of your sign, you can just print one line out at a time and then put your sign together that way. Shooting me with 
truest words, but I won't let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Fall DIYs commenced, and I cannot wait to show you guys these barn doors. So I take some of those longer signs that I mentioned were my favorite from Dollar Tree, and I start by just cutting three of them in half. I also cut down some large stir sticks to fit at the top and the bottom, and then I gave all of the pieces a distressed coat of my Cashew Waverly chalk paint. I made some barn door hardware for the top, from Dollar Tree items and some beautiful gorgeous fall wreaths for the uh, middles of the barn doors and then of course I made some decor to go along with it because you guys know that that's my style. Now I took a little break in between these videos because my daughter started school for the first time and it was just a lot. I'm not going to lie you guys. I mentally went through it. My baby is growing up and it's just a lot as a mom. So anyway, I did miss videos but that's okay because that's the beauty about having my own channel. I can make my own schedule. But when I did come back, I cannot wait to show you guys these Michael Stoops because over my little break I went to Michael's and saw all of the all of these cute things but I was not paying Michael's prices because you guys know that I could make it for much cheaper. Now I made mine a little bit different of course I put my little spin and flare on it and I absolutely love the way that this little box turned out. I also love the way that all of the other items came out in this video as well. This back to school teacher's gift idea was so fun to put together. All I needed were two Dollar Tree items. I took my pencil out and drew this out and then painted it with my acrylic paint as well as some Waverly chalk paint. And then I took some jute, tied it around the edge where the eraser is. And then I pulled out my Cricut Joy and printed out the name. I did my daughter's teacher, but for her privacy, I did just put my name on there, and look how cute this turned out, you guys. She absolutely loved it, and I absolutely loved making this. Okay guys, this was another first for me and I am just smiling because I was hesitant to do this video once again, but I'm so glad that I did because I absolutely love the way that everything turned out. I'm not really into Halloween decor, I don't know why, but after making these two videos I'm about to show you, I know for a fact that next Halloween, my house is going to be the spookiest house on the street, and now that I'm buying a home, which I own my own home now, but it is a mobile home, and we live in a neighborhood, and it's very wet all the time, so you can't really have things in the yard, and it's just a whole thing, you guys. So anyway, I am super excited to decorate next Halloween, and my babies are going to have the best house on the street.
This one was just a quick and simple sign. I took a Dollar Tree round sign, I painted it up and then transferred on the word gather as well as some greenery around it and then made a simple bow and I absolutely love the way that this turned out. And then we're gonna move into part two of the spooky DIYs. I loved doing the last video so much that I knew that I had to do another one before the season was out. So of course, I looked through my Chalk Couture transfers, I pulled out the spookiest ones that I could find and went to town. I just love this book stack and I also love the big sign in the back. The skeletons on the top make it feel so scary and I know that this was a fan favorite. So let me know in the comments out of this video, which spooky DIY is your favorite? So for the last fall DIY of 2021, I made this cute little, I believe you guys said it's a diorama. I know that, I know what the word means, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I know somebody will let me know if I am, but look how cute this is. I honestly didn't even think of a diora diorama when I did this DIY. I saw the foam pumpkins. Everybody was doing the same thing with them. With them, So I just kind of thought outside of the box and came up with this. This is another DIY. My best friend, Heather, she's so sweet. She is new to, to the DIY world. But this season, she come up with these little pumpkin decor DIYs herself and for a tribute to her, I wanted to recreate them and I absolutely love the way that they turned out. In the same video, I also made this grateful sign and this pumpkin sign, it's a double-sided sign. And this one might definitely be in my top 10 DIYs or my top favorite, top 10 favorite DIYs that I have ever made. Respect how you feel, but baby, I'll never go that far Cause I know better than that So baby, let me hold you, hold you I wanna show you, show you, show you how to, how to Treat you right, treat you right Pull you closer to the highs and lows Yeah, I wanna show you how to Treat you right, treat you right Moving on, 
this Cricut video was the start to my Christmas DIYs, so I went to town again using some Dollar Tree items and some items that I had already had. I made this cute little bow to go on one of the DIYs, and I could not find it anywhere, you guys, but that's okay. I just went to the shed and made another bow. No big deal, but I made a dates until Christmas sign, as well as a few other decor pieces. I definitely feel that this monogram sign in this video was my absolute favorite. I just love that wreath with the N in the middle and then the bow at the bottom. It just is so farmhouse Christmas and it is sitting up on my mantle getting ready to get put away for next year. Okay friends, moving on to another fan favorite. Now a lot of you guys asked me why I did the middle different than the sides in this one. And I got the inspiration from a sign at Walmart. And in the inspiration piece, the middle was different and I had never seen it that way. So I was thinking the same thing. I was kind of confused, but the more I looked at it, I really liked the way that it looked with the contrasting um, colors or um, contrasting patterns, I guess you can say. And I figured that I would try it and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So to answer your question, that is why the middle of this was different. Okay friends, we are in the home stretch. If you guys are still here, please leave a Christmas tree emoji in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much. I know that a lot of you guys are busy and all you have time for is paging through my videos and I just appreciate you stopping by even if you only watch two seconds of my videos. So anyway, I loved putting this together. I love this foam board faux wood technique. I got it from Sarah at the Peppermint Cactus. If you guys have not checked her out, check her out. She is absolutely amazing and I will continue to do this fun foam board faux wood technique. Okay guys, here is another one of mine and your favorite DIYs that I made of the year. So because you guys love the original crate DIY so much, I knew that I had to make one for Christmas and every season after that of course. So for this one, I turned it into a crate tree DIY. Of course, I put it all together and showed you guys that and then I made all of the little decor pieces to go inside of the little boxes as well. I just love the way that this turned out and once again, I cannot wait to display it for years to come. For this DIY, I had so much fun putting it together and it turned out absolutely amazing. It originally started out as a turntable. I bought a turntable from Dollar General a couple weeks back and you guys loved it so much that I knew I had to show you how to make one. So I made the turntable and then I thought, okay, this could be really cool as a tear tray. So I whipped out my supplies and turned it into a tear tray, but I do recommend not to use the Batman 
fidget spinner. Use the fidget spinner that has three or four sides to it. I will leave the video in the cards in the right hand corner because I do go into more detail about this in that video if you guys want to check that out. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass. So this was another YouTube Shorts. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, I am posting reels over there. I post almost every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. So that is a way to connect with me a lot more often if you'd like. I can add on the screen here in a minute all of my social medias. I also add it in the beginning of the video. So definitely check me out over there. I'm having so much fun. But this was sped up because YouTube only allows me to upload a one minute YouTube short, but on TikTok, I can upload a three minute um, clip. So it's a little bit longer form content over there. So definitely come over and check me out on all of my different social medias. Moving on again along the lines of those little crate DIYs. So I wanted this one to look a little bit different, but that's where I kind of got the idea was the tree crate DIY. So I was walking through Dollar Tree, I saw these bird houses, and I thought that they could be really cute in the shape of a tree with the red, white, and the brown. I literally had this envisioned in my head when I walked through the store and then a sweet subscriber of mine, Christine, helped me make this idea come to life. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Can you see that beautiful gold glitter? I wanted it to be subtle, but still be super shiny. And I think that I achieved that pretty well. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. This was another DIY that I knew that I had to do because of the spooky book stack that I did back in the fall. So for this one, of course, I got three books again. I painted them and then decorated them up to go with the peppermint themed of the rest of the video. I've been using Chalk Couture for two years and I still cannot get over how amazing the image comes clean when you pull that transfer up to reveal your gorgeous high-end image. So if you guys want more info on Chalk Couture, let me know in the comments. I know that there's a lot of new people, so if you're new and you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments and I would love to give you that info. Moving on to the next DIYs. These are so fun to make. I wanted to make these Bath & Body Works candle holder dupes. I seen them in Bath & Body Works and I knew that I could make, make it for much cheaper. And I just love the way that they turned out. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back. No going back. There's no going back to These Bath and Body Works candle holder dupes were such a huge hit on TikTok. So again, check me out over there if you're not following me yet. video I collaborated with my friend Robin at Crafts Unleashed by Robin and my dear friend Liz as well from Liz More Decal and Decor so definitely go check them out if you haven't already but I had so much fun making these floating shelves from Dollar Tree as well as these other winter decor DIYs and that was it for the year you guys can you believe that was an entire year worth of DIYs I do believe I missed a couple here and there but that's okay um, no harm no foul 
but I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. None of this would be possible without you guys, and just know that there is not a day that goes by that I am not truly grateful and blessed to have you by my side and with me on this journey. So here is to an amazing 2022. I hope that you guys will join me on this journey. Let's see what 2022 has in store for us. I'm so excited and I cannot wait. And again, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. And if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy New Year. There's no going back to your own life I'm living in the past We're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high